In this video, I'm very excited to show you how to build and run any supported large language model by using OpenLLM's API. For this purpose, I'm using AWS SageMaker's notebook because it is very easy and quick to use and you don't have to worry about a lot of installation. So let's get right into it. I'm right now, as you can see on your screen, logged into my AWS account. From there, go to AWS SageMaker service and then on the left hand side, there will be a menu on that menu. Click under the notebooks, click on notebook instances. Now, when you click on notebook instances on the right, you'll be presented with a screen where you can click on the orange button to create your notebook. Now here, give any name of your choice of this notebook. And for notebook instance type, I always go with G4. D and X large instance because it's very cost effective and the performance is fine because it has one GPU. That's done and keep everything else on default. Scroll down and click on create notebook instance. It will take around three to four minutes to create your OpenLLM notebook. So wait for it. Our notebook is ready. So now let's open it in Jupyter Lab on the right hand side. It will open a new tab, and in that tab, you will be able to see your new Jupyter notebook. So let's wait for it to load. And I have seen that it's some time, it takes a bit of a time. So just give it a few seconds. It is, it will be presenting you a few of the notebook options. I always go with Conda underscore Python 3 because it gives you a lot of options already pre-built in, a lot of prerequisites are already there. So click on it and it will open a um, notebook for you with a lot of options pre-installed. For OpenLLM, we need to install a few prerequisites. So let's install them. The first one is inops and you can see that I have put in exclamation mark in the front of pip command because the, uh, you can't run pip command without this in the notebook. So click on play or control enter and you can see, see that there is a static here that so means that it is in progress. It is downloading it and installing it. So let's wait for it to finish. Yes, so it has finished installing and you can see that the static has turned into one. Now let's install the second one, which is the Xformers. It also installs a lot of things. So let it finish. So the second one has been installed and it has installed a lot of things. Now let's install the third prerequisite, which is safe tensors. And then wait for it to download and install the prerequisites. Okay, so it has finished install it, installing all three prerequisites. Now it's time to install Open LLM itself. So again, all you need to do is to just pip install Open LLM. It will download and then install it. So let's wait for it to finish. And now it has install, finished installing Open LLM. It will give you these warnings, but that is fine because we already have them installed. So all good. And we can verify if Open LLM got installed uh, successfully. For that, all you need to do is to just run Open LLM V to check the version. Tarek shows that it is working. So wait for it to come back. So it has displayed the version here. So it means that it is all good. We can also check the help by dash H flag. And it displays a nice uh, logo there and then all the commands which we can use. Okay, now in order to use this OpenLLM, we, all we need to do is to give it a model name. OPT model comes with it. So I'm just using the OPT model for it. OpenLLM start OPT. 
click on play and it will first download it and then it will start it so let's wait for it to finish So as you can see, it is right now downloading the model, which is around 2.63 gig. It takes around one minute or two. So let's wait for it to finish. Okay, so it has finished downloading that model and then it started the OPT. Now, all you need to do is to open this in the new tab because it has started this OPT on your local host. But as we are using AWS SageMaker uh, notebook, so what you need to do is, is to take the URL of your notebook like this, and then just append proxy and 3000 port at the end after AWS slash and open this URL in another tab. And you'll be presented with this local host where this model is running. Now, this is sort of a swagger APIs from this model, which you can use. Let me try out with the generate one where you can give it a prompt and then get a response back to try it out. And then similarly, you can get the metadata out of this model. So click on post uh, against generate. And then click on the right hand side, click on try it out. Now you can just give it any, you can cancel it here or Okay, so let me give it the any prompt like who are you? And then just a question mark, and then we can click on execute. It takes a bit of a time and then give you a response in this box. There are a lot of responses which you can get back because this is a swagger um format so it will return you successful for 200 bad request 400 and all the similar http uh, request responses which you can expect and as this is uh, such a small model so don't really hold your breath for an outstanding response but still it shows you um, just an end-to-end -end demo how you can install the open llm api and then how you can download and run and then use a model. And in the subsequent videos, I will also be showing you how you can use Falcon model and a lot of other models. And while it executes, let me also show you the repository of this open LLM API. And I will also post the link in video's description. This also has all of these steps, which I just showed you and all the source code at the top, which you can, Use for your own purposes if you feel like it. Going back to my no, uh, Bento ML, so it has returned the response. So this is the response it has returned. Um, as you can see, not much happened there because um, I didn't ask too many things, but that is fine. You have got the idea how to run it and how to actually um, use it. You can also cancel from here or reset. So this will just reset everything and then you can run it again. Now, this is not the only way you can run it. There are other ways of running this open LLM. For example, you can simply go in and use this query command. Let me show you what I mean. So just by running this query command, like open LLM query, and then the endpoint, which I just showed you, uh, because I'm using SageMaker, so it has to be in this format. If you're running it on your lo local Linux machine, you can simply use localhost instead of this or your server IP. And then just give it a prompt. And if you run it, it will show you the output. Another way is to run it inside a Python program. So all you need to do is for Python code, you can just use this code. We are importing open LLM library, which we just installed. We are generating a client, giving it the endpoint, and then just our prompt in the query format and then printing the response. So I hope that you like it. Uh, if you have any feedback or any questions, please put them in the uh, comment section. Thank you very much.